Welcome on What Hurt Developer channel. Here I'm developing a large site for musicians. In this video, I'm going to talk about documentation. Not just talk. I will make the documentation process cheap and automated. And the documentation was always relevant. But first I want to say, I live in Ukraine. The country of Russia and its inhabitants try to kill me and my loved ones every day. My relevance have already been injured. Many of my friends have already died. So please support Ukraine and demand support for Ukraine for your political forces. This can save my life and will definitely save someone else's. Thank you. The first thing you should know about documentation, documentation is expensive. Writing documentation is expensive. Support documentation is even more expensive. Most likely you don't have the documentation on your projects or it is not up to date. You can hire a technical writer for every developer. They will write documentation perfectly. Actually no, but let's imagine. And even this documentation will not give you profit. Simply because no one reads it. You can object. But I will say, have you read the perfectly written Laravel documentation. And this is your main documentation since you are a Laravel developer. And believe me, it is very simple compared to documentation of for some domain-oriented project documentation. Do not believe? Check yourself. Go to any site about board games. Board Game Geek, for example. And the game that you like most visually. There are absolutely all genres from historical to magic and racing. Download the rules. They are always available for free. And try to read. Not even understand, but to read. They are beautifully designed. They have many images, examples, and etc. And they are written for ordinary people, not for engineers. Have you tried? If so, I am almost sure that you did not succeed. It was hard for you. You found a million reasons why you don't want to do it, and you didn't. Now remember this experience and use it every time when you visit a new project and write a complaint that there is no documentation. Documentation is a complicated thing that you can't read but you require people like you to write it. I'm not against documentation, of course. I'm just saying that the developers who demand documentation are newcomers to industry or a bad developers who cover their incompetence with attack on the management for various reasons. Lack of documentation is direct basic attack of such developers. And having documentation won't change those developers. They will find something else. Of course, there are projects where documentation is mandatory. If you're developing an IR plane autopilot and you don't have every step documented, fire yourself immediately. This carries a real risk for people and legal risk for you. Now think about programming language is literally a perfect designed language for describing any action. So your code is literally documentation. If you cover your code by tests, by correct tests. Tests become another layer of documentation. Very nice layer. But not everyone who takes a part in the development knows the programming language. And not all code can be written in such a way that it was easy understood. Therefore, my advice is to document business logic, not code. And be sure to document exception to the main business logic. Documentation should not explain how something works, but it should explain why it works like that. For example, we make a system where an employee submit an application for Application. And application must be approved by his manager. It will be enough to read the code to understand this logic. And now image that there is an exception in the code. Then only CEO will approve it. I should say this is a bad code, but it must be documented. And from the documentation we will learn that the CEO's wife likes John Doe and the CEO likes to personally Danny Poor John's vacation. But I know a way to give more value to writing documentation and make the writing process as easy as possible. But the John Doe case will have to be documented separately. However, this will solve many other issues. You should know that Open API or Swagger is a specification for describe RESTful APIs. To work with the Open API or Laravel, it is convenient to use the L5 Swagger package. It is a simple Laravel wrapper for Swagger PHP package and Swagger UI package. And if you try to work with Open API in the past, you most likely did not succeed for two reasons. First, annotation for describe Open API. API specification take up more space than program code, and it was very difficult to support them. And secondly, they quickly lost relevance, because the developers simply turned a blind ear to the strange big comment on the top of the class, and few developers wanted to check it. Both reasons are not relevant today. I will start with the first one. PHP 8 allow us to write attributes. Attributes are literally classes that allow us to add some metadata to anything in the class, to parameters, methods, and to the class itself. 
itself. The syntax of attributes is much more compact than that of annotations. PHP Swagger package support attribute syntax and most importantly we can write our even more compact and convenient attributes based on existing ones. So go to setup. First of all install package, publish config and inside config add to annotation directory. Modules and new directory open API. Inside open API folder I create open API class. And this will be the entry point for the open API package. It is important to specify only one attribute here. Open API info, version and title. Version and title here it is enamed parameters from PHP 8. Please learn about it. It is very useful. And we will not return to this class never. You can write specification in the app class or somewhere else. It is just useful for me. It's important to add this directory to composer autoload and run composer dump autoload command. For demonstration I should describe minimum one action. I will describe get current user info. Open ip get ip pass ip v1 slash me and simply to response. Response 200 when all good and response 401 when access not allowed. Run command php artisan l5 swagger generate all good and now I can go to storage api docs and see api docs json file with swagger specification in json format and I can go to localhost slash api slash documentation I can see swagger web view with my first method I want to say you should add to git ignore this json file because you don't want to make conflicts and merge over and over this file but web view files I recommend to add to the git web view files is not so big almost never has updates but it is the cases when we should add some hotfix inside it so I recommend to store it to the git next what I have to do go to config file and remove comments from sanctum os configuration this give me access to authorization right from web view of swagger and two configuration parameters l5 swagger generate always it is allow you to not run command every time it will run automatically when you go to slash api slash documentation and l5 swagger ui persist authorization it is allow swagger to save authorization token so if i try to write fully get user info specification it should like like this but with aus of course i forget about it response should return uh, content json content json content should make a ref to json resource json resource i will describe separately or schema schema name acquired properties name and slug and two properties name type string and slug type string one recommendation here always set additional properties to false this will force the developers to keep the list of properties up to date and you can say okay annotation make it more complex Compact, but it is a lot of code, a lot of method and construction we should know. And I agree with you. So please look at the screen, video magic. And now you can see much less code, but it describes the same specification. It is because we can write our own attributes extending existing one. First of all, attribute, attribute target class. Allow us to use this class as attribute of class. If you do not use actions, please add target method to these attributes. For JSON resource, I want to see a resource, it was a class to JSON on resource file a response 200 by default and, and description success by default here only one my self-made rule schema inside open api specification should be the same as class where schema is described it is useful for developers it is impossible to make mistake in class name and we can use fast navigation to file with schema or code i push to the github you can use it next one i create a response unauthorized where hard code 400 status and description of course and a response no content with hard code 204 status and i create a separated class for each property property slug property string specific property for error messages also i create base schema class where I set all fields to required by default and additional properties to false you should know in open api a required it is should be received nullable property can be required and now json resource looks like this simply six line of code also i recommend you to rewrite all get most and other rest methods first of all I said to required pass, tag and description. It is force developer to write it. And if you set security to true, I add unauthorized response as variant and set security properties. This class is going to grow. I'm going to add pagination, cursor pagination and etc. Also, I use a base schema inside login request. And of course, I describe login, logout and get current user info. And of course, I 
second test. Write from Swagger. Make login request. Copy token. Go to authorize button. Enter token and a bear. And go to slash me method and see all information about user. And you can say, oh, Swagger interface not useful. Postman much more beautiful for me. And it is not a problem. Postman can use open API specification. And if you think maybe open API is too old, I need something new, some new specification. Don't worry, you can simply convert every specification to another one. And please, if you know some beautiful wrapper for Swagger or open API, please let me know in the comments. I have tried a couple of it and they always want to money to send a requests. And remember, you write specification for your method, not for you only. This specification and Swagger will use by UI team, other developers and of course front-end developers. And yeah, Swagger you should show on the demonstration for the client. Because project managers spend a lot of time after backend developers demo for explaining to the client that backenders really work, they just show nothing. And now you can say, okay, it is not a lot of code, but what prevents developers to skip it? And now can I say, we can test open API specification. We can literally run tests that will check if open IP specification equal with request and response. And this is an idea situation. We spend the same time as we spent for writing the tests, but we writing documentation. Documentation was always relevant, always up to date and always tested. For tested open API, I use spec tutor package to config variables, spec source local and spec pass pass to our open IP specification folder, storage IP docs and only one command we should use before test. Spec tutor using and JSON file name. I recommend you to run this command in global test case setup method. It will run for each tests. And now inside feature tests, we can replace assert OK to assert valid response and assert valid request. I strongly recommend you to set expected status inside assert valid request because we can expect two different responses. And for example, I will comment some fields in response, run test and got error. Add some extra field in JSON resource, run test and got error. There are two cons in this package. First of all, if we remove command spectator using, all tests will be false positive. For this case, I create a new test where I simply check if spectator connect the file. It is a very simple solution and you can forget about spectator using function forever. And the second, what you should know, open API spec should be updated before running tests. So it is important to run it before tests in Composer script in my case. And of course, we should not forget to generate this file every time when we run tests from IDE. And there was a bug when we run tests from IDE, spectators can say wrong JSON file. And it is simple to fix, just rerun generate file or update slash apidocs root. But I cannot reproduce this bug for the video. I hope this issue is fixed. And spectator tests are very well optimized. This is a proven library on a large project with more than 500 API methods and it is work great. And for the end I should say a little about API standards. My approach to work is the usual REST API. I give the data as is. If some entity is related to several others, it was duplicated and repeat in each places where it used. For example, one user make a lot of comments and comments API will return array of comments object and inside all object I will duplicate this user. Also, I will not return metadata. For example, answer status. 200 is ok for me, more than 400 it is bad for me. I'm talking about HTTP statuses. No everyone likes this approach. Duplication is bad and also we not always use HTTP requests. For example, we can use WebSocket connections and cannot return 500 HTTP status. To solve this problem, other standard has been developed. The most popular of which is JSON API. First of all, it say do not duplicate nothing, just write it in separated relationship arrays. And secondly, it offers to write metadata. It is accepted that the status is mandatory. I am not a big fan of this approach, maybe because I am also write a front-end part and I understand how much work I should do to map this data. About duplication, if you use pagination, it should not be problem. And of course, if you don't send a big blobs, for example, these images by API call, it also should not be a problem. What 
about statuses, no one can stop me to use statuses when I use WebSockets and skip it for regular HTTP requests. And one more standard you might hear about GraphQL. This is the standard for writing records to pull any data from the backend. And I really don't recommend GraphQL. You will have many, many problems with data security, with optimization, with recursive queries. And as far as I know, those problems have now been solved for years. Sorry, but I don't believe that you can solve it. But I want to be wrong. And a little fun. On every project I come to, from the documentation was only search as him. In various, of course. But with one idea. We have database, we have API server, and we have client. Please tell me who is drawing it, why and who pay for it. And what I should do when I add some, I don't know, Elasticsearch server. Sorry, maybe this is my unique experience, but it really burned my ass. That all, support Ukraine, write documentation, and thank you.